um, light, but me and, my, me and my daughter decided to uh, take a tuk tuk. What's a tuk tuk? This is a tuk tuk. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Welcome back everyone to another episode. Uh, there's a few things I would like to cover today. It's going to be a bit of a yarn sesh. And um, well let me first just say welcome back. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you like this content. Just drop a like. It helps the YouTube algorithm to choose my video and send it out there into the interneting. Anyway. Uh, let's talk about that first clip that I just threw together for you guys. That first clip. So in Mackay. They've been doing it for the last couple of years, I guess. I think in the last three years, they've been having this festival called the Illuminate Festival. And what it is, is they just have cool lights. And I just thought it was my first time filming in low light. So, and I wish I had my new lens that I have right here on there now. So, super good for low light. And I didn't have it at that time, but now I do. So, I'm happy to film some stuff in low light. Anyway, so that's that. I took the kids, we went there, a couple, we went there last year. And it was spectacular. This year was just the same. It was super crowded. So I only filmed what I could, especially with two kids. It's always pretty hard to do things with two kids um, and try and film as well. So that was really fun. My daughter didn't want to leave at all. We ended up getting a ride at the Tuk Tuk. As you've seen, they had these Tuk Tuks where you could, because um, it was like a one way traffic kind of thing going around the, on the, Esplanade there in Mackay and they, they gave you tuk-tuk rides back to where it all started So you didn't have to walk all the way. It was super cool. She loved it, it was frothing over. Oh, I just think Just seen a fish jump. I'm super glad I didn't bring my um, fishing <laughs> fishing gear anyway So what have I got to talk about today guys? I've got a couple of things. So the first thing is I've reached 400 subscribers. I'm pretty stoked about that. I've got new merch I got hats and I got new shirts and they're whoop. anyway you'll see them I'll uh, put a little clip together with the new shirts so you can buy them and now I'm also doing kids shirts but I haven't put them on the website because there was a bit of miscommunication with the uh, printing and, and it's not bad it's just when they printed it um, they put the print in the middle and in in my head I thought it was uh, gonna be okay and it still is it still does look okay um, I don't know it's just it just looked a bit off to me and that's nothing to do with the printer that was completely my fault um, I visioned it a different way and I didn't relay that message back to them. So they are for sale. I got sizes two, six, oh no, two, eight, and ten, because the sixes are nearly sold out. Um, but I'm am getting more kid sizes, but they won't have a patch on the front. That's it. That's that's the kind of design I'll be going for with the kid shirts. And that will be the OG classic. Um, the black, not this, not this new style, but they're the old style of uh, merch, and they'll just have a patch on the back for the kids. And I will have div uh, various kids sizes, so make sure you stay tuned to the website and check them out. But if you do, if you don't mind the little patch on the front that's in the middle, hit me up. I've got, I've still got a fair few kid sizes left. I'll um, send you the prices for them, and you can buy them. I just didn't want to put them on the website because I wasn't. 100% happy and that and that's something that I strive for when I put something out to you guys to buy like merch and stuff I want to be 100% Positive about the quality um, The style everything that I'm putting into these shirts is A plus that's that's I won't expect anything I don't want to put out anything less than that because you guys are paying your money to help me support my channel I want to give you something that's pure quality. Uh, what's next guys? Let me come back to the start. So I've been a bit on and off 
with YouTube at the moment and, and social media in general, mainly because I have been absolutely flat out. I have every chance I'm trying to get to edit a video or do something different, another opportunity arises and I, I just don't knock them back. Like um, I filmed a car show the other week and I'm going to show you footage of that in another episode. Uh, went on another reef trip. Uh, what else? We went on a bit of a Forby trip. Like a lot of stuff is going on, especially with me behind the scenes as well, trying to do the website, get orders sorted, uh, all that sort of stuff. I've been running myself pretty thin lately. And on top of that, my kids have been absolutely sick. There is just something going around the town at the moment and it's just been, it's been really, really testing. And um, I haven't been able to get out the content that I needed and I've been kind of burning myself out, which has been pretty tough for me lately. And I'm trying to get back on that horse because I know that you guys enjoy the content and enjoy what I'm doing. And I enjoy it as well because it gets me out of the house and I, I, di I get to do different things and film cool stuff that I never thought I'd be able to do. And that's another thing, guys. I've been selling, this is one year on YouTube. That's another great thing to bring up. One year on YouTube, 400 subscribers, over 15,000 uh, 15, views across the channel now. People can go, oh, whatever, it's not massive but to me something that i come from nothing and then built it up to be this now where i'm selling merch and you guys are loving the content i'm over the moon i'm super over the moon with the amount of progress that i've had in a year now a lot of people can grow faster and a lot of people can grow slower but where i am i feel like i'm right bang in the middle and i'm and i'm stepping up my game a lot more lately that's why i've been trying to um really i've just been trying to put myself in these situations where I thrive and get better. That's that's really what I've been doing. I, it's, I've been, well, I shouldn't say thrive. I've been putting myself in uncomfortable situations, especially like the other day where I was filming this car show. I've never filmed a car show before. And then that clip you saw at the start, I've never filmed low light. I'm trying to put myself in these positions where I, do, I struggle, but from the struggle, I succeed. And that's what I'm trying to get better at. Anyway, so... I do have another little adventure for you guys to put together and this is something else I want to talk about as well so you may not think it but I still 100% get shy around people when I have the camera because coming from a small town a lot of people don't understand this and it's nothing against them and it's nothing I guess I don't know it's it's different it's different and, and when you come from a small town different things mean you're weird <laughs> and I'm okay with being weird I don't care but it's still I still get even around close friends when I'm filming I still get that little tiny bit shy because I don't want to seem overconfident and up myself but at the same time I want to put out good content so a lot of times lately I've been noticing when I've been editing I've been a bit shy on the camera and not talking but when I'm by myself and then even here like I'm this is my oh, overexposed but this is my new little spot where I come to film stuff I'm way overexposed in the background but excuse that I'll go back this way but when I'm by myself I, I'm free I guess it's and it's nothing against them because they're my closest friends and I'm happy that they come on these trips with me and I need to get over some stuff myself to um give out better content to be honest that's that's really what it is but um so anyway this next clip that i'm going to show you guys and that's the other thing when when i'm going filming with the kids i try not to overindulge in the moment i try to live in the moment with the kids because i know they they love being filmed and they love the camera and all that sort of stuff but at the same time i want to enjoy the moment with my kids so i don't try not to talk too much but at the same time, I can just come back here like this and talk to you guys about the clip that I'm about to show, which the clip I'm about to show is um, Ballantyne Strawberry Farm. Now, we go there quite a lot. It is a spectacular place to go to. It is super friendly. Um, kids love it. So what it is, Ballantyne Strawberry Farm is a farm out past Kalen where you pay money to pick your own strawberries. Now, I understand some people might not like that, but the strawberries you pick and the quality of the strawberries is absolutely delicious. They are fresh as you can get. They are so good, delicious, and not that. They've got a little cafe, and you can 
pull up, have a feed, they do nice little cakes and stuff, and they have these lovely um, sunflower fields. It, it, I couldn't help myself. I had to film that sort of stuff. And that's, that's the kind of opportunities that I get. And with these local businesses and stuff like that, I try and highlight them and give people an experience of what they're missing or what, they're, what they could be going to, especially in this local town where, or even at, in not just a local town, especially at a time where local businesses need our help and need us to come together and support them. So, I took the kids to Ballantyne Strawberry Farm and... It's, it's a standard event, and I don't mean that in a bad way, that it's always good. It's always good. Kids always have fun. Um, we always get a good feed. There's always, it's just a beautiful place. Mountain ranges in the background, beautiful scenery. And, but yeah, I just wanted to throw that clip together for you guys, because it is a beautiful place. And I'll roll that clip, and we'll come back. <laughs> guys that's the episode Ballantyne's strawberry farm if you haven't been there go there it is quite the place to go it is awesome beautiful get yourself a mad feed um, again guys check out the website link in the description link to all my socials they're all there stay tuned to Instagram guys because that's when I'll be dropping the competition details tune in to Instagram righto peace